Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. In this video we are taking a look at the Uncanny X-Men Retro Card Long Shot Figure. Now there's six figures in this wave and I've looked at them on my page so do check out my page for the playlists and you can see the reviews on the other figures in this wave. But in this video we are going to specifically look at Long Shot. Now this is an odd one because they've only just released Long Shot recently in the Mojo 3-pack, the uh, San Diego Comic Con 3-pack. And then they announced that they were doing a single card release as well. So this is the single card release. He comes with additional hands as you can see here with his signature 3 finger hand. Now that's obviously quite important. He also comes with a knife that I've already put away in the sheath there. So there's your knife. Uh, it's a nice little weapon. Comes with all the straps, comes with a little sack jewel that goes over the top as well. Comes with his awesome mullet. He's got his signature kind of long shot eye, like the, the star looking eye there as well, which is really cool. The face sculpt is pretty good, I'm not going to lie. It looks a lot like long shot in the comics. They've got the hair pretty much spot on. Um, now, long shot as a character, he first came around in the sort of mid 80s and he was kind of a staple part of the X Men comics from from then on um, he was a member of the x-men team at one point he's also been part of x-factor he's also been part of exiles um, but a lot of people most commonly know him for the mojo storyline where he was like you know a, a slave that um he actually led a rebellion i think he actually kind of re rebelled against mojo and i think he was the leader of it but yeah but he's a he's a character that a lot of people tie with mojo now we've had the mojo three pack that obviously had dazzler longshot and mojo in it and then we've more recently had this one the single carded release and also a deluxe single release of mojo so in the same month of the same year we've had a long shot figure which is well overdue and we've had an updated mojo when I say updated, I mean that we haven't had one since the Builder figure back in the day, which was a Toy Biz Builder figure, I believe. Now, there are some subtle differences between this version and the one in the three pack, but I didn't purchase the three pack. I haven't got it, so I can't actually do a side by side. But having a look online, the differences are very subtle, down to like the color of the star on his on his shirt, the sack jewel, the star on his face being there and not being there. Um, so I was more than happy to actually just add this version of Longshot into my collection. Now in this wave as well we've also got Spiral. Spiral is an incredible figure and I do take a look at her in her own review but she is also part of the Mojo World kind of storyline so to get Longshot and to get Spiral in the same wave at the same time in the, at the same time that we're getting a new Mojo is awesome. We're really, really able to kind of fill out that kind of late 80s early 90s X-Men storyline. Now he's got a whole bunch of kind of bits and pieces the hand there that I just showed has got him holding his like kind of knife pieces in between his fingers but for me because he has the three finger like the quite signature look with the three fingers I want to display him with his hand out uh, sprayed out like the fingers sprayed out because there's a lot of comic book art that show him kind of doing that with his hand so I think having a unique piece like that I want to show it off um, so I'll probably just put his knife in his hand and then have his hands out. Now I just want to have a little try because all of his straps and stuff come off and I want to see whether the satchel looks better underneath this kind of um, ammo belt or whether it looks better over the top. Now it's intended to go over the top because the ammo belt comes on him and the satchel is loose in the box but let's just have a play around. But yeah he's he's a nice figure let's be honest I mean as an actual figure he's very cool he is completely pinless which is a plus with all of the figures that come out nowadays now he looks all black in this video but there is a slight kind of blue tint to his uniform which is a nice little touch um, and the paint on all the accessories look really good now I did kind of gloss over that I didn't think it looked as good so I'm going to put him back as he was intended but yes, of course, there is reused parts. There are reused parts in most of the Marvel Legends nowadays, let's be honest, because they've been out for so long that it's hard not to reuse parts. They're not going to make new parts for every single figure that they release. There are reused parts, but I think that they're kind of hidden enough that this looks like a unique figure on its own. As I said, I'm really pleased that we've got Longshot. We haven't had Longshot figure for quite some time. We we're in desperate need of an updated one. So to get one that's got this amount of detail and also the pinless tech as well it really is cool what I would say is if you've already purchased the three pack 
you could easily pick this one up still and have another version of Longshot because there are some subtle differences between the two figures. But if you haven't picked up that three pack and you want to pick up the Mojo separately and then wondering whether this one would look just as good, I personally think that it is just as good as the one in the three pack. So yeah, so there we go, long shot. What an awesome looking figure. But I think that's just the, the comic book fan of me. I love the, the, the X-Men comics in the late 80s through the 90s. So to have long shot is a real plus for me. Um, but please do check out my page, see the other five minute figure reviews and you can see the rest of the wave reviewed in the same format. And of course, like, share, subscribe and all of those things because all support to the channel is very much appreciated. But there we go, that's long shot. So until next time, I guess I'll see you soon.